Welcome to Dawn English. I'm Adil Shahzeb. I'm joined by former Chief Minister of Balochistan, uh, Jam Kamal. Jam Kamal, sir, thank you so much for joining us. Were you also surprised at the nomination of your good friend uh, Anwarul Haq Kakar as a caretaker Prime Minister? Well, a friend with uh, many of our other friends. Uh, uh, to an extent, yes, I was ex uh, a little bit of surprised uh, because I was not really anticipating with a kind of strong political. Uh, coalitions that we have in Pakistan. Mm. A name from Balochistan and especially from Balochistan Awami Party and then for of somebody uh, who really uh, carries a very uh, uh, from a class which is uh, not from the elite you would say or from a feudal or from it's a middle a, class politician or from a somebody who, who whose family's legacy must have been in politics and all. So I think so. Uh, the the name which has come in has has given very good vibes also. Mm. So yes, uh, I was not anticipating it, but now that it's there, so we're quite happy. So do you think because you've remained very close, uh, Ad, uh, with him, and uh, uh, you've known each other for decades, I must say, uh, there is a perception that he might not be able to, uh, you know, uh, deliver in terms of like conducting elections on time or fair and free elections there is a there is a perception uh, but uh, you know is the job of election commission of pakistan of to do that but some people think that he's been you know uh, brought into the job uh, you know to pr to prolong the caretaker setup uh well i would uh, like to say that uh, as you have said it yourself the the core responsibility of conducting and announcing and mm. giving the schedule for any elections in Pakistan uh, truly comes under the Election Commission of Pakistan. Uh, even the, the census responsibility comes with the, the Election Commission of Pakistan and the only thing which the government or any government does is facilitating Election Commission of Pakistan with human resource, with uh, infrastructure requirement and many other things. Yes. So uh, I think so it's, it's going to be uh, quite early to presume uh, the kind of uh, not an allegation or an assumption that we are making uh, the more responsibility goes towards the election commission of Pakistan if they do their responsibility work in time and if they are prepared with all the delimitations uh, which is the core uh, core requirement for elections to be conducted then I'm sure that the government uh, will be in no position of really ignoring that fact and yes, if there are certain things which are questionable in the Election Commission of Pakistan, which are not being done or uh, which are still in a process, so the government will not be in a, pro in a condition or in a position of really forcing them to announce or delay anything like that. So I would say the government uh, should be ready uh, with all the uh, responsibilities that they would be having uh, in assisting the Election Commission of Pakistan. That's their core responsibility. And at the same time, Election Commission of Pakistan should really do its uh, work, the homework which they are supposed to, to do for, uh, for really announcing first a schedule and making sure that the delimitations are there and everything is in place. Uh, Jam Sahib, what's the future of uh, Balochistan Awami Party? Some of your senior members have joined uh, Pakistan People's Party and you know some have left, you know they'll probably contest uh, independently. You've met Maryam Nawaz, uh, some of the people associated with you, affiliated with you politically have met uh, uh, former Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif. Uh, will you be joining PMLN? Is there a possibility? And where do you see uh, Baluchistan Awami Party in the next elections? A party uh, for which, uh, you know, personally I have uh, uh, given a lot of my personal time, energy and uh, a lot of input we have given in this party. Uh, from, from the day we started uh, organizing this party, its manifesto, I still remember I have I've typed the manifesto myself, a bigger portion of that manifesto myself and I had presented the manifesto myself in Quetta also. So, you know, when it comes to BAP, uh, you know, the, the emotions really high, uh, rise up in me mm. and with many other people who are associated with this. Again, it comes in the hands of the people who are the members of BAP who are responsible for many other things. It's very unfortunate that uh, since the inception of Baluchistan Awami Party, from the first day till today, uh, we have seen intrigues within the party a lot not by anybody else. 
uh, uh, I think so that was really immature and irresponsible from many of us not many I, I don't blame any other party but I blame ourselves that uh, we really did not uh, uh, worked to take Baluchistan Awami Party to another level, but we all used it as a platform of achieving our personal goals and our personal agendas, and mm. which we did. Like, Alhamdulillah, I would say, like, you know, Baluchistan Awami Party has given us a chairman of Senate, Baluchistan Awami Party has given us uh, the caretaker Prime, Prime Minister. Minister as a platform, Baluchistan Awami Party gave me as the Chief Minister, Kudus Bizinjo and John Jamali as the speaker. So what more a party can give to its member? So now it's the responsibility of these people to like give back in return, which I'm still not seeing. And that's uh, the reason for the last uh, uh, one and a half year, uh, you know, I was the president. Uh, though you I- You sort of distance yourself from the party. There were reasons uh, yeah. because uh, uh, some, uh, a lot of conventions were called. Uh, which were called not as per the rules and regulations of the party then it was contested in the court but still we did not uh, really get a right opinion on that so yes uh, you know things do hurt and i think so uh, what we faced in baluchistan awami party uh, is something which uh, i was not anticipating and nobody of us were really happy to see also hmm. so moving forward uh, we could probably see you joining pmln or that's something which comes obvious, uh, <laughs> like, you know, when you leave a party or uh, you're not associated with the party and you want to move on further uh, in uh, doing active politics in life, uh, then one has to adopt a platform where you can de deliver something. Uh, yes, we can run as independent people, but again, uh, being as independent, then you will not be a part of any government. So once you're not part of any government, then it's, it becomes uh, uh, you go, you make yourself uh, and take yourself to a weaker position of being not able to do something for your constituency and for the province itself. So we are, we are uh, keeping all these points in front, uh, me and the few colleagues who are with me. And uh, inshallah, uh, soon we'll be deciding, uh, like you said, there are some inclinations right. which have been seen through the media or the camera. But I'm sure one of it would be right and uh, we'll definitely take that decision keeping in mind what role we have to play in Balochistan. Jam Kamal Sab, thank you so much for joining us.